back there. That means we are in Jill Summerland. We are in Jill Summerland. We're here and you know what many tourists by now say is the best theme park in Denmark so we're here to check it out again and it's, it's been a few years for me and uh, yeah, a few weeks for me. I barely visited anything this year so far so it's about damn time I get some intimate thirst put, put out or something. So what that means of course we're starting out light with uh, something that I think needs to be redeemed because apparently I'm trashing this ride too much at this point. So time for Dalgon. Better than I remember, honestly. That was actually forceful and smoother than last time. That was good shit. I should ride floor. Hell yeah. That was fucking good. That was surprisingly good. I've been trashing on this ride before, saying it's not really forceful at all and it is too rough. Honestly, more forceful than I remember in the turns. Weightlessness was still solid. Honestly, it was a lot smoother. I think they've done something because it definitely was not that smooth last time I rode it. Big uh, thumbs up. That's going up in my range. It helps a lot as uh, we sat in the front row. It also in the front. It gets a lot smoother. Um, yeah, but I also sat in the front row last time though. That was two years ago. Oh, it much better. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe it's one of those intimates. It's rough from the start, but it gets smoother with age. Are we ready for some The Clue Club Denmark? The Clue Club Denmark! Oh, the new one for last year. The yeah. old rematch, the remake from uh, Rio Grande. Well, are you ready to get wet? I forgot me, I forgot me. For those of you who don't know, Villas has a curse that he, basically he has to be the one who gets wet every single time, and the curse works. Oh. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Hello! To give you an update, uh, we're about halfway through the ride and my, uh, my feet are soaking. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, it gets dark now. Oh shit, we're going to swim all over the place. 
The two water rides here, the lock plume and the rafting are both really good. Great theming on both of them. You get decently wet and they're just a ton of fun. And now it's uh, almost uh, time to, uh, to uh, Katie plume, like Katie, Katie Oh rabbits. yeah, that comes later, that comes later. All right, this is the entirely new area that wasn't here last time I was here. Dinosaur Land. At the Dino Pink Old Car Park. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Nice. And here we got the brand new Zamperla Disco. I don't count this as a coaster, which is good because I don't have to ride it then. And uh, that's the new uh, teacups. Oh, they actually look pretty cool. I love the look of the playground around here. That actually looks nice. Yeah. Big props for, to them also having all audio. That's something that 4 up Line didn't do with the new Phoenix area. This is absolutely they great. talked about doing it in the new uh, Phoenix area. They've talked about it? Yeah. <gasps> I want talked about the, the chief uh, for engineering in 4 up talked about the, the press day. It's not happened yet. No, I'd love some audio by Phoenix, but here we are. This is a great looking area so far. And there is the new coaster, new credit. <laughs> It's actually a really good power coaster. There's some really great laterals. The first lap is slower than the second, and in the second one, you really start to you know feel the speed, and especially the helix, which is like wavy laterals. It's really great elements, and the onboard audio makes it so complete. I love that audio. It makes the ride so enjoyable. So that's definitely my favorite powered coaster in Denmark. Honestly, great family coaster. It's not super intense or anything, but I love it. Love it. You almost said it all. <laughs> it's just a. It's a nice one for the park. I yeah. was really disappointed when I hear it was a power coaster, but it grew a lot for me. Yeah, I feel the same, and it seems a lot of enthusiasts felt the same, that it wasn't exactly what they wanted for the park. A lot of us really want something with inversions now, maybe a wooden coaster, a drop tower, and they got this instead, which we did. a lot of us felt was un unnecessary. But honestly, it's a great ride, so I'm happy they got it, but I hope they also, of course, invest in something that people are actually asking for next time. Even the GPs are asking for a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But, I give my thumbs up, definitely. Yeah, he's back, bitches! Damn, he's thick! He's thick! Thicky, thicky, little biggie. Don't you growl at me, bitch. That is a great ride. Do that. Do it. Do it. Leave me alone.
Time for Forrest Hammer. Uh, Floor's hammer or Floor's hammer. Floor's hammer is a fucking classic. It's, it's such a classic. Amazing. It's smooth. It's strong. Just amazing. I agree. It's a clone of Gesengde Sao Trip Stroll. So the first ever Gerstlauer. It's a really good ride. It's really strong on laterals. It's forceful as well. And, uh, and just a, it's such an icon for Joe Summerland. It is. And it's smooth too. And just the entrance for the for the plaza in the in the middle of the coaster is just amazing. Love yeah. this classic ride. It's the oldest coaster here. Yeah. And, and I hope they, they keep it forever, honestly. <laughs> and it's really still hold up for the quality or the, the amazingness of the park. Yeah, absolutely. Important ride here. Luckily, it's also popular. Oh, oh, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. You feel it. Den er god, mand. Oh. Den sektion efter den anden launch er så fucking god, mand. Sorry. Det er det lige. Kan vi agree, at Jubilee er easily one of the best family coasters out there? Ja, det er virkelig en vigtig family coaster. Det er virkelig, virkelig god. Det er fast food. It's almost family thrill on a really nice way. Yeah, and it's definitely a thrilling ride, and especially the second half after the second launch, uh, launch it honestly packs some really powerful forces as well as uh, some hardcore level. It's easily one of the best coasters for the sense of speed out there. It's yeah. amazing. It's just really amazing. Yeah. 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 We got wet. I yeah. got a line. You get wet in that bitch. Definitely get wet in that bitch. Whoa! <laughs> 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 that was a pine cone! <laughs>
ride of the day on this bitch. <laughs> Many people say this is the best coaster in the country, so let's see. Whoa! That packs a punch. <laughs> yeah, Piraten is easily one of the best coasters here in Scandinavia and in Denmark. I still prefer Phoenix. I think Phoenix is a more fun, uh, complete a ride for me personally. But Piraten, <laughs> but Piraten packs such a punch, and it's definitely the most intense of the two. The really strong forces. It's a gray out guarantee for me in the first turn. There's some strong ejectors, especially in the Twisted Trio, in the second row of any car, and especially in the back. Super strong airtime. It's it's a fantastic ride. It's a really little small model <laughs> Come of over here. Real five. <laughs> Yeah. Spray out every time on the first return. It's made for forces, it delivers forces, it's super smooth. It's, it's a fucking intermediate. That's crazy good. Yeah, exactly. And it's from the golden age of intermediate. Exactly. And I'm so glad I got to ride it again after a few years. Honestly, it stays exactly where it is in my rankings right now, which is right behind Goliath at Wallaby Holland and then Phoenix. And so now it's time for a splash. Oh yeah, we're gonna get wet boys. Big crap. <laughs> Coaster. And now we're going in a heated lock flume. Hell yeah! Best lock flume ever! The pirate fish. Okay boys, it's time for the, the best ride in the park. Well, it's the second best after Soul Go. Oh my god, we're tilting. Uh, no balance in the boat. <laughs> no, no! The floor is pushing us along now to help us with the speed because we're sinking. I don't know if this is the best or the worst lock flume. I've ever been on. Oh my god. Yes, we're gonna stop tilting out. Let's go. Look, guys, it's a credit. Look at this. It's definitely credit. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay, you get very wet in this. <laughs> oh, we see they get <laughs> That's the top of the drop right there. It's the best luck flume ever, boys. Just <laughs> Oh! Did you get wet, boy? It looked really nice and fun, but uh, it's definitely a red ride. Oh, yes. It's not suited for adults, which is why you should definitely ride it. And uh, definitely not too adults. It was the best and worst idea at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> farm area here is really cute and I should also mention there are absolutely no lines pretty much in the park today like everything is almost a walk-on wait what new crit oh the drop tower let's go I like to be educated but I'm so frustrated slight crit slight crit, slight crit. Oh. get that pretty butt of yours in the slide <laughs> you get roasted in the butt <laughs> Let's go! Woo! 
Oh, we didn't add one to it. We just had another ride on Drao Kong, this time in the back row. It's definitely rather intense, uh, especially in the back row. It's also fairly more rough back there and kind of headache inducing, but I definitely take everything back I ever said about it not being forceful. It's definitely forceful, quite a lot as well. an amazing well done, flat ride. Five. It was fucking awesome. It's really fucking good. It's into Manjaro swing. It's super forceful. The wind is amazing. You get to flip all directions on all the swings so you don't miss out on anything. And the floater at the top is great. The lap bars are awesome. I still get nauseous by it. We did just eat and have a beer, so that was probably not the best timing. But you know what? Fuck it. It's a great ride. I love it. Yeah. Why are we riding these? Because we can. Because we're fucking awesome. Well, what's the best coaster here? Oh, I think it's the wild uh, chicken hunt. The milk hunt, yeah. Good shit, good shit. There's a bird in there. There's a bird in there. Yeah! Woo! Contact Intamin if you want to ride like this. That's been the day at Geo Summerland and it's it was absolutely awesome. It's a really a great park. It, it's probably the best park in Denmark. Geiraden is just it's a great intense simple but really hard hitting ride in Geiraden is an awesome intense family coaster. Kong also surprisingly intense and the entire ride lineup and atmosphere theming all of that really good and I also just would love the new dinosaur area. It's a fantastic park. I'm grown up with it so uh, I still love it. Let me know what you guys think about Juas and otherwise thanks for watching man. See ya. See you next time.